Good morning, everyone. This is Super Lego Matt Tuber Zero speaking to you with another reaction video, and it's a Thomas and Friends video that is called that is called James's Discovery of Richard Jordan Story that is made by the Lego Boy Fifty Five. Yeah, he made his own Thomas and Friends video on whatever whatever video he's up to. Yeah, he made it on the Lego Channel, by the way. So I watched it and I liked it and I'm gonna react this video to you guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this reaction video starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Warning, the following video might be scary for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, if you say so. And here come, here it comes. James's Discovery, a Richard Jordan story. And here comes the episode. James the Red Engine was restless. Since his accident hey, with the this must be his flashback his from season one of the railway the series. told him to shunt around the big station to gain confidence with the cars again. But James has been shunting for some time. He was eager to see the rest of the main line. I'm hey. tired of being tethered at the big station, he said to the others one night. I long to stretch my wheels. The other engines were tired of hearing James Oh, poor James. But they all have been in his position before, so they couldn't be cross. Be patient, James, said Edward. I'm sure Sir Topham Hat will let you out into the world soon. James you're, is You're completely to right, Edward. Edward. Sir Topham Hatt sat Oh look, there's Sir Topham Hatt. When an important call came. Hmm. From who exactly? Yes. Maybe it's Official some stranger check. from another island or something? Who is this? Hello? Hello? What the heck was that all about? And was silent. The station master came in. You rang for me, sir? Yes. I just received a call from a station who I fought for many years to be vacant. They're asking for Wait, a an old train. station from many what years? Kind of train, sir? Hmm. A goods train. I you wonder who will be taking the goods train sure to the old the station. Sir. I'm thinking Matt that would be. No, I'm afraid hmm. it's not. What is it? Who well, could that? Uh, who could be? Who will take this train? Who would take that train? I'm guessing it was James. Train, sir? Down the main line? Do you mean it? James asked excitedly. Awesome. Yes. Sensor top of that. But listen very carefully. You must take these freight cars to the old station and leave them there. Pay attention to the rails and do not lose your way. James wasn't sure what Sir Top of Hat I won't had. let you down, he sir. I will take office. this train no matter what. James set out for his destination. James loved it. He cherished the wind in his face, the countryside rushing past. Finally, a chance to stretch my wheels. It took some time to reach the old station. By then, the sky was getting dark. Hmm. Oh, that station kind of looks like the Gotham City Bank from a Lego DC Universe set back in 2012. Long before you came along, James. Really? Who ran the branch line? Hmm. An old engine. He was about the same size as Thomas. What old engine? But he was put out of service a long time ago. What happened? James asked, beginning to feel uneasy. Uh, I don't remember exactly, mm. his driver replied. James got the feeling that his driver wasn't telling him something. James's crew uncoupled him from the train, and the thick of fog was beginning to form. We better hurry back, said James's driver. The fog is making it hard to see. The fog did Are you sure? Hard Why is it kind of foggy so there? Hard, in fact, James started on the wrong track. Wait, down James, down where are you going? You're going the wrong way. The driver nor fireman could recognize their mistake. Something's wrong, James said. The tracks feel rough. It's an old section of the main line. You're just not used to it, James. Then, through the fog, James thought he could see something. Wait. That's not a wagon. Wait, That's what the heck is that? The fog 
begin to lift. James realized that he was not on the main line. James was not sure where he was, but what he saw there terrified him. Up ahead was an old engine shed. Oh my. And in its stall sat an old dead engine, rusted from smoke box to cat. Wait, that engine's it dead? Wait, if that engine's dead, dead, that must be... The Zoids! It's the ghost engine! Let's get out of here! He was going so fast that when he returned to the old station, he smashed it. Kablam! James, James, come back! To get back to his shed. Oh dear God! The old station sat eerily quiet. The door of the station building creaked open, and out stepped Sir Topham Hat. Wait, Sir Topham he Hat? Wait, what is he doing at the old station? I really hoped that James wouldn't have seen this, he muttered to himself. I've got to correct my mistakes, no matter how old. Taking off his jacket, he piled as much of the equipment in his car as he could and hurried down the old dirt road towards the old engine shed. Well, that was a bust. And here come the end credits. Wow, that was awesome. Wow, guys, I can't believe that Lego Boy 55 made his own Thomas and Friends video. I mean, it is kind of scary and all stuff. Well, anyways, I think this video was dedicated to the Thomas and Friends episode. What was it called? Oh, yeah, right. Toby's Discovery. Yeah, Toby made his own discovery. At the... And at the at the old mine where he saw an old engine named Bertram. Yeah, I used to watch that episode since my childhood. Well, anyways, Lego Boy Fifty Five, you did a great job on that video, and I'm giving you two thumbs up for that. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching this reaction video, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.